Hello, my name is Phil Ranger. In this video I want to demonstrate the relationship between the rotational speed of the blades of a wind turbine and the power you can extract from it. Mechanical power is needed to generate electrical power. Physics teaches us that mechanical power is calculated by multiplying the torque by the speed. When there is some wind but not enough to make the blades turn, torque is applied on the generator's shaft. But even if there is torque, if the speed is zero, the generator doesn't receive any mechanical power. Now if I let the blades rotate freely, they won't go to an infinite speed. At a certain point, the friction will bring the available torque back to zero. The power available to the generator at this point is also zero since I have speed but no torque. Power is only available when there is both torque and speed, and the available power follows a bell-like curve. The maximum power for this wind speed would be at this blade's speed. If the blades go faster, there will be less torque, and torque times speed equals less power. If the blades go more slowly, there is more torque but less speed, so there is less power in this case as well. This point is called the maximum power point. It is the optimal blade speed that I would like to have for that particular wind speed. When the speed of the wind changes, the zero torque point changes, as does the entire power curve. More wind means more power at a higher blade speed. Each line on this graph represents the power available at a given wind speed. The maximum power points follow a path that is proportional to the cubic of the wind speed. The goal of a good wind generator controller is to change the current output of the generator to reach the speed that provides the maximum power for each wind speed. This can of course only be done if you have a variable speed generator. Thank you very much.